to another Brett Players video. Today I am going to be reviewing the Robin DR250 160 Capitain, I think it is. Uh, basically it's a DR400 conversion for a uh, tail dragger, as you can see here. This is uh, version 1.2 by Paron, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right. But basically has converted a uh, DR400 default plane into a tail dragger. So what we'll do is we'll give this a quick run. I think it's going to be fairly standard inside. Do have somebody in the 747 buzzing around at the moment. Okay, inside pretty stock, although I do think we are now facing... Okay, we do have co-pilot. That's a weird thing to see. Don't usually get the co-pilot inside. Very good. Uh, we are facing uphill here, so as opposed to the normal uh, tricycle landing gear. Let's get our engines running. This basically should run everything uh, normal. Inside, yep, cool, thank you. Outside, I don't think there's going to be all that much difference with this particular uh, aircraft. We'll take some lights on, thank you. Okay. We will see somebody else in the same plane over here. Got uh, United, or no, EJ the Goat, I think it is, with me today. All right, default views, down to views. This is all the stuff you get uh, with... It's weird having this person sitting there. This is what you get normally with... Um, well, okay. You can't see your fuses on that side. Uh, but with Asobo's aircraft default views, they actually put that there. I will take a flaps level one. Thank you. That was quick. Are the flaps are really that quick? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tail dragger really swings this around. All right. Let's get my trim uh, leveled out. Thank you. All right. I see how it flies. Oh. I think uh, initially this was made because someone, wow, well, just checking out how well that moves. Uh, initially for someone who wanted to do uh, landing on mountain sides or bush trips and stuff. So they wanted a tail dragger instead, but they went for the, uh, what is it? Robin. Well, they call it a DR250, but I'm sure it says in their description it was actually a DR400 that they modeled it on. Let's have a look. It's probably the one in default in the game. So, uh, have a quick read of what they've got on their side. Uh, introducing my rendition of a Robin a DR250 160 Capitain. Uh, watching f videos of a Speed Jojo uh, flying into impossible strips in the French Alps. Uh, when you have access to in a Flight Sim 2020, really made me want to fly something similar. The Robin. Uh, and Jodel's flying around the French Alps. We still got that 747 buzzing around. Whoa! Oh yeah, gotta remember that. No, no jumping on the uh, tail too quickly. All right, looks like we're gonna get. Uh, let's put a name tags back on. Yep, EJ the Goat 703. Thank you, mate. Come with us. He has actually uh, messaged me. We are flying the same thing. But let's see how well this takes off and whether we get our rear wheel in the air nicely like a normal tail dragger or if it's going to handle more like a oh no oh oh very nice yep okay I am a little twitchy on the uh, controls there give this a little bit of stick thank you oh smooth okay Still makes me want to pull the landing gear up, but I do remember I don't have any. All right, looking out. Very cool. Wow, we got a Concorde parked in Sydney. It's good to see that our aircraft are now getting uh, dumped in. And Copilot, actually very interesting to have Copilot sitting with me. All right. The other uh, pilot following. Very cool. Let's see if we can hold altitude here. Clicking some autopilot buttons. 
whole 500 very good okay well, we'll have a look around so I, I know I am I might actually bring those uh, flaps up too I am not flying uh, over places that you would normally take the uh, tail dragging DR250 in or Capitaine uh, so also reading more about the um, the website that uh, this is going to be linked in the description I set out to creating a tailwheel conversion of the default DR400 cadet uh, derived from the DR221 itself okay so the owner of the aircraft so it must be based on someone uh, remove the rear seats to allow higher altitude performance uh, a single larger tank um, has also been installed to feed more power uh, the real one has two 40 litre wheel uh, tanks uh, and 70 litre main low range is around oh, the range is now around 800 nautical miles uh, at 30 litres an hour handling has been improved and like all tail draggers you need to watch it on the ground look so far pretty good what we'll do is we'll, we'll run under the harbour bridge and we'll bring it back down for an actual landing see how we go with it tail dragon but so far uh, I did notice I had this uh, on the first iteration of iteration when it came out and then it got updated so uh, hang on, so what version are we on now we're on uh, version 1.2 so this is the end of uh, May it came out I think uh, last update no May 10 okay it's been updated for a while uh, but I'm actually recording this the first let's go past first of June Let's go past the Opera House here and oh, we've still got our autopilot or level on have we? Yeah I think we have. Okay and we'll take that trim back thank you. Under the bridge. Let's drop back the uh, prop thank you and the engine. And we will run this back to runway 22 on Sydney Airport, which is way too long for this aircraft, but we'll give it a try. I must admit it uh, it does fly well. Maybe we'll run down Darling Harbour here. Past the uh, Crown Casino. Fancy building there on the side. Now I am using Orbix uh, Sydney and also uh, Sydney Airport add-ons plenty of uh, bo boats and yachts and uh, the old sail ships and military stuff alright let's get a climb here do we have the other pilot uh, ooh, might have missed him. might have lost him Nope, they're on my uh, left. Okay, cool. Alright, let's bring this around. Now, these are actually quite a joy to fly. Now, if you were going uh, bush flying into the mountains, well, we are going to get a little bit of loading back in here. Seems to be Sydney. I don't know whether it's uh, one download thing not working with another one. I always seem to get a lag coming back over this way. At least on some aircraft. Right, where is he? Okay. Oh, look at the lag there. Maybe there is something to do with the two coming together. Although I often get it over this side of Sydney. Okay. Well, I'm having some issues there. Don't think it's the two aircraft together. I actually do think it is uh, something to do with my... Sydney mods. Microsoft flights in trying to load it in as quick as it can, but it's not. All right. Well, we'll put up with that. Sorry about the uh, the lag there. We're definitely getting some issues going on. So it's my flight sim, not uh, not the mod that I'm flying. 
because I do get a lot of that coming into this same airport. All right, well modelled inside, thank you. We'll take some uh, flaps. Volet sorties. Is that... Oh, it's all in French, is it? Yeah, it does look like it's in uh, French. Interesting. I have to look at the DR400. I don't think it's in French. Now we'll give this a bit of a landing here. I have got past that worst of the uh, lag. I really don't think it's from the uh, the plane, but um. We'll give it a bit of a test when we get close to someone else with the same plane, which is what it looks like we've got right in front of me now. No, see, there's no lag. I'd say it's actually uh, jumping from one one side of Sydney uh, to the other, and Microsoft flights and doesn't like it. All right, bringing in very nicely here let's flaps up and tail down please are we tail down oh, it looks like it's still hovering all right stopping obviously you can't put your brakes on too much you probably hear me clicking away in the background there yeah you can see the wheels come up in the air there should be able to bring this back around didn't ask for permission to take off, didn't ask for permission to land. Why should we uh, follow them? <laughs> we go straight through to someone else. Alright, good the pilots are matched up. Uh, now, in the thumbnail for this particular aircraft, we did have uh, a red livery on it. But uh, when I get into game, I'm only getting the white livery for some reason. Now I'd say that Sydney Airport updated its aircraft pack because I don't think that aircraft was there when I was here before. Uh, looks like a Poseidon. Yep. <coughs> now that uh, all the aircraft that I have in my directory, if you want to see the Poseidon flight, I think it is. Uh, 767 with military stuff. I think that's the one it is. Um, have a look on my showcases. Looks like we've also got a uh, oh, what's that? A 707 Air Force One. So far, uh, look. I, as far as the lag goes here, I don't think so because I do have someone else here. But I think it's actually to do with the Orbix uh, Sydney. I don't think there's an update for that. Uh, what are we running at? 80. 80 RPM. All right, let's bring it back around here. Look, very good aircraft. Still going way too fast here. I highly recommend it. I do like some things like the uh, uh, co-pilot being in the uh, seat with you on the interior. It doesn't seem to want to let me back in. All right, there we go. So having Copilot inside uh, default without having to put in a mod for that, um, very good. Um, other than that, let's get some more liveries for it. If you want to see a free aircraft like this, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to come and join me, come to Sydney Airport. Uh, you'll probably see me jumping around in these type of things all the time. There's our mirror in front of us. Alright, thanks for watching, have a great day, cheers!